37-year-old Nayib Bukele entered San Salvador's convention center, a main voting station, a few hours later than planned to cast his ballot. He brought all the confidence, swagger, and even the black leather jacket of a rock star. <laughs> Young Salvadorans, some voting for the first time in their lives, were also present, many showing their support for Bukele, the former mayor of San Salvador. I believe that all of us young people here hope the situation changes, because our country is beautiful and we want the situation to change. It's a reference to the perceptions of widespread corruption and graft perpetrated by the two major political parties, the right-wing Arena Party and the left-leaning FMLN party, which has governed the country for the past five years. Members of both parties were arch enemies during El Salvador's bloody civil war in the 1980s and early 90s. A few hours after the polls closed across this Central American nation, early tallies made it clear Nayib Bukele will be the next president of El Salvador. We live governed by the two parties of the post-war era that represented the side of the right wing and their opponents, the guerrillas. On this day, the 3rd of February, 2019, El Salvador has turned the page on the post-war and now we can begin to look toward the future. Once Bukele's victory was declared official, tens of thousands of Salvadorans poured into the main plaza in the old historic center of the city. They're hoping that the man they brought to victory here will find a way to end widespread poverty and violence, which have plagued this small nation for decades. Frank Contreras, CGTN, San Salvador.